everyone welcome you watching on plug tv india this is alice francis thanks for tuning in before ending the day let's catch some latest updates from around the world himachal pradesh assembly poll dates released voting for assembly polls in himachal pradesh will take place in one phase on november 12 the election commission of india announced on friday counting of votes will be held on december 8 it said adding that the last date for nominations in october 25 Dates for the Gujarat Assembly elections were not announced on Friday. BJP leader urinates on district president's banner in MP. A video showing BJP leader Shailendra Bhuduria urinating on the party's district president Devendra Singh Narwaria in Madhya Pradesh bind has gone viral on social media. BJP has expelled Bhuduria from the primary membership of the party for 6 years. BJP state general secretary Bhagwan Das Sabani said that the act is highly indecent and condemnable which is the party will never tolerate gutter mouth smriti irani on aap leader gopal italia after remark on pm modi union minister smriti irani has reacted to aap leader gopal italia's purported derogatory remarks against pm narendra modi calling the former a gutter mouth she said i prefer no outrage i don't want to show how indigent gujaratis are but now this shall be decimated electorally in Gujarat. Italia was earlier detained by Delhi police and later released. Hijab wearing Muslim will become PM, Aswaddin Ovesi, after court's order. All India Majlis e Tabdul Muslim MP Aswaddin Ovesi today asserted wearing hijab doesn't make Muslim women any less than their peers and it's their constitutional right to choose to wear whatever they wish to. Addressing a gathering following the Supreme Court split verdict on the hijab ban, OAC said Muslim women covering their heads doesn't mean they cover their minds as well. No scientific probe of shivling inside Gyanwapi Mosque as UP court rejects plea. A Varanasi court on Friday rejected the plea of Hindu worshippers to conduct a scientific probe into the contested structure inside the Gyanwapi Mosque. The plea has been rejected in the view of Supreme Court order to seal the alleged shivling that was found during the court mandated videography of the premises. Court arguments in the matter concluded last week. ED raids 25 locations in national capital in Delhi excise policy case. Enforcement Directorate on Friday raided about 25 locations in the national capital as part of its money laundering case investigation in connection with the now scrapped Delhi excise policy. The locations raided belong to private entities linked to liquor dealership and distributors official said earlier ed raided about 35 locations in delhi and punjab in connection with the case two more minors filed pokso case against rape accused seer shivamurthy muruga karnataka police registered a pokso case against seer shivamurthy muruga sharanaru shri muruga mats chief pontiff as two more minors have accused him of rape and sexual assault Police have registered an FIR against seven people. The seer was earlier arrested after two minors studying and staying at the Mats hostel in Chitradurga accused him of rape and sexual assault. Man suspected of kidnapping murdering Indian origin family in US pleads not guilty. The man suspected of kidnapping and murdering an Indian origin Sikh family including an 8 month old baby in US has pleaded not guilty. Jesus Salgado allegedly kidnapped the family at gunpoint from their trucking business. He has been charged with four counts of first degree murder with special circumstances. If convicted, he would spend his life in prison without the possibility of parole. Hundreds of British citizens forced to cancel India trip due to visa delays. Several UK citizens looking to visit India have been forced to postpone or cancel their trips. This comes after visa agents in the country received notices that they could no longer apply for tourist visas on behalf of the applicant. It is aimed that preventing travel agents from illegally charging fees to get visas processed jay shankar to pay two day visit to egypt to discuss bilateral issues external affairs minister s jay shankar will pay a two day visit to egypt starting saturday to discuss bilateral regional and international issues of mutual interest with egypt's foreign minister the center said the promotion of bilateral trade commerce and investments will be one of the focus areas during the visit 
Jaishankar will also interact with Egypt-based Indians. Inundated houses, submerged roads, Australian states face floods as rivers swell. Flash floods swarmed hundreds of homes in southeastern Australia and thousands of people were warned to flee surging waters threatening towns across three separate states. A major flooding emergency was unfolding in Victoria, Australia's second most populous state, where rapidly rising waters forced evacuations in the Melbourne suburb of Marlborough. Cars left on the streets of the suburb were almost completely swallowed by the floods, while some stranded street residents had to be saved by inflatable rescue bloats. Prithvi Shaw smashes highest T20 score by an Indian in 2022. Mumbai opener Prithvi Shaw on Friday smashed the highest T20 score by an Indian in 2022. The 22-year-old slammed 134 in 61 balls, including 13 fours. and 9 sixes against Assam in Syed Mustaq Ali Trophy the previous higher T20 score by an Indian in 2022 was registered by Karnataka opener Devdoot Padikal Kantara beats KGF2 becomes highest rated Indian film on IMD Kannada film Kantara starring Rishabh Shetty has become the highest rated Indian film on IMD surpassing KGF chapter 2 Kantara currently has a rating of 9.5 followed by KGF chapter 2 which is 8.4 and SS Rajamouli's RRR which is 8 directed by Rishabh Shetty Kantara deals with the issues of land and ownership thank you for watching on plug tv india please hit like subscribe and share and also press the bell icon to get all the latest updates